Um, thank you very much. Uh, I am indeed happy to join my colleagues to do the handing over of non-food items to beneficiaries that were affected by flash flood in 2022. If we recall, uh, in 2022, the Gambia witnessed a uh, flash flood that affected uh, lives and livelihood. And government uh, requested for support from partner institutions. And ECOWAS uh, com came in to support the government of the Gambia. Uh, and this support is what we are extending to the beneficiaries. The support is in twofold. Um, uh, we are giving uh, cash transfer or an unconditional cash transfer to affected household and the total number of people that are benefiting from this package is 2,650 beneficiaries. Um, the program is designed in a way that ECOWAS uh, requested government to identify um, a non-government organization to do this response on behalf of the government and CRS was selected to uh, do the house transfer on behalf of the government of the Gambia. And uh, they did three months cash transfer. Each month they are supporting uh, $3,000 to a household. Um, the known food item, which is also part of the package, is uh, delivered by Future in Our Hands. So meaning um, Future in Our Hands and CRS are collaborating in this. Uh, NDMA is doing the coordination as a government entity and the funding is from uh, uh, um, uh, ECOWAS uh, to support our disaster victims or disaster affected households. So um, the program is organized in a way that uh, we call beneficiaries to come and collect their items and they are packaged in this order. We have buckets, uh, we have uh, Madan 2 in it, we have Odazabel, we have also uh, a Ghana Moscow bag a bag that contains some uh, non-food items that we are delivering today. Um, the gas, the cash transfer, actually, uh, we avoided uh, the issue of cash in voucher. So we go in electronic. Um, the, 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 the program contracted um, APS, meaning CRS contracted APS to do the cash transfer electronic on their behalf. And uh, we call beneficiaries to cast out their money. But some people uh, could not read and write. They cannot identify where the money is in their wallets. So uh, we call PR AP APS to be here so that those who did not cast out their money can do so here. Uh, because we want to ensure that every beneficiary casts out their money so that you know, when, do we are, when we are doing the reporting, we'll be able to report 100% uh, success in the, in the activity. So essentially they are just here to cast out the, the money. So P APS is in the office to facilitate them access their money. Uh, and then I think this is mainly due to the fact that some people cannot read and write and they find it a little bit challenging to identify where the cast is in their uh, mobile phones. How long will the process take? We have started from Angel, um, KMC yesterday and today on the West Coast. The, the, this process will take seven, seven good days. We are going to saving regions and then the, we, we schedule a day for each region. Meaning, uh, we started day before yesterday in Banjul. Yesterday we were in Karnifi. Today we are in Brikama, West Coast region. And Wednesday we'll do North Bank region and then proceed to CRR, LRR and uh, URR respectively. So it's going to be a saving days program. And um, alongside the, cast, uh, the distribution of known food items, we are also doing caravan to raise awareness on this program, as well as uh, enable people to understand how to live with disasters or how to mitigate or prevent themselves from disaster situations. Because we know disaster is happening, uh, the frequency and intensity are on the increase. So people's capacity need to be enhanced so that they will be able to take responsibility. And then I think um, um, we, we really appreciate our partners to support the National Disaster Management Agency by extension the government of the Gambia to reach out to these 2,650 beneficiaries that are receiving both the cash and the non-food items. Uh, I, am, I am privileged that, uh, to inform also that we are having an additional 350 that will receive only cash because we have gained some uh, 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 money from the contract 
and then certainly we want to give out money to those beneficiaries. Uh, of, of additional 350 will benefit from uh, only cash transfer. Um, I want to seize this opportunity, like I said earlier on. Today marks the 13th of, Oct uh, of October. 13th October each year is celebrated globally as the World Disaster Risk Reduction Day. Today is the day that is set aside by the United Nations system for people to reflect on disaster situations and then challenge themselves to build resilience. And this year, Gambia is joining the world to celebrate this day. Uh, yesterday, the, uh, His Excellency, the Vice President, made a televised statement. And as part of our efforts, today, ECOWAS is supporting Gambians to uh, respond to 2022 victims. We coincide with the date. So essentially, we are celebrating International Day for Disaster Risk Reduction today by providing known food items and cash to beneficiaries. So this particular, uh, 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 this day is very, very important. So we want everybody to be responsible for their environment uh, uh, to ensure that they save themselves or prevent themselves from disaster situation. Disaster, disaster response is, is, is significant, it's expensive. So going for preparedness and prevention is more cost effective. So we challenge people to prevent themselves from disasters or make, make sure that hazards are controlled before they become disaster. So we want people to be very mindful about their dwellings, about their settlements. We want them to plant trees. We know climate change is real. We want to ensure that people build resilience to climate change. Meaning, we are promoting locally led disaster redu reduction and climate change adaptation in the Gambia for a sustainable future. <laughs> So, we have to do a lot of things in 2022. We have to do a lot of things in the future. We have to do a lot of things in the future. We have to do a lot of things in the future. So, we have to do a lot of things in the future. We have to do a lot of things in the future. Assalamualaikum. <laughs> 
ndax kontan nañ dal man dal kontan nan ndax man suma jëkër dafa gañu te ku jëkëram gañu mu bu am juroom ñetti dom ku ko dimbalé ku ko yalla mo lay fay kon man dama leen di baye yalla rek yalla na yalla fayal ma leen ci barke sidina muhammed sallallahu alayhi wasallam nday sissé nday yasin sissé my name is amulay touré uh, i'm the crs country manager and i'm here today to witness the distribution of the non food items which are funded by the ecowas flood response project Uh, which we are very much delighted to partner with NDMA feature in our hands and of course the government in general. I think the place here is well organized, well well thought of and we have seen the turnout and the project has three actually three components. The first component was the community action plans implementation which saw the cleaning of the drainage system uh desensitization on uh hygiene and disaster preparation and response ahead of the rainy season we've seen significant improvements since then and this year's flood has shown that at least the response has uh the preparation have worked very well which was well coordinated by NDMA and today also uh we are here for the non food item but prior to this another component of the project was the cash transfer which was successfully done uh thanks to the team Uh, and everybody that is that is uh, working towards us including the media who has joined with us from the beginning and today here we are in west coast uh, yesterday was in in kanifing and day before yesterday was in 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 banjul we've seen uh, a massive turnout and we hope that this will go a long way to elevate uh, and mitigate uh, the 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 uh, problems faced by the people especially the flood victims of 2022 We cannot conclude without saying a big kudos to Ecowas who provided the needed funds. But I also want to acknowledge the good efforts and coordination of NDMA and partners and of course for CRS and my team the finance team and everybody who has been key in this in this endeavor. We have significantly also have some savings due to exchange rate fluctuation and other things. And this is geared towards CRS and NDMA's principle of stewardship and ensuring that resources are given to where it is needed most uh, out of the funds that are allocated i can say that 95% of it are directly going to people as been a direct beneficiaries we did that in support of uh, crs uh, own contribution just to ensure that the administrative cost is brought to a bare minimum and of course ndma staff and their volunteers have played a significant role in this so thank you everyone and thank you to the team for their for the for the well organized uh, event thank you